Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Everton have apparently switched their focus to Salzburg midfielder Mohamed Kamara um, since struggling to secure the signing of Adrissa Garner Gay. It looked like Gay was going to move to Everton last week, but there's an ongoing issue between him and PSG. Um, so until that's sorted out, uh, the deal with Everton can't be completed. Uh, a report yesterday and again today saying that Everton have now turned their attention to uh, Red Bull Salzburg midfield, the camera, who's obviously a lot younger than Garner Gay and is a, you know, a good prospect as well. The difference in these two is obviously the FIFA camera will probably be between 18 and 20 million pounds. Yes, Everton could pay it and will pay it in installments should they follow it up. Um, but who knows, it, 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 it's up to Ghana now and PSG to come to some kind of arrangement, agreement with um, with maybe a payoff or whatever, because obviously the the wages Everton are offering for the 32 year old midfielder is um, is considerably less than what he's on right now in Paris. So he's only got what ten and a half months left of his current deal, and it's up to him whether or not he wants to sit it out on those wages or he wants to make the move back to Goodison. So who knows? But it's good that Everton are looking at other options as well. Uh, and not hanging everything on Ghana coming back. Um, you could argue that Camera actually makes a lot more sense than what Ghana does, given his age and his ability to grow um, and Everton's ability to make money back on the deal. However, Ghana is is more ready now. He's played in the Premier League before, knows the club, and um, been playing at a high level, obviously, with Paris in terms of Champions League and playing with players like Lionel Messi and Mbappe, Neymar, people like that. So um, still something to go, still some manoeuvring to go on that particular story. Uh, young Everton striker Nathan Broadhead has signed a new two-year deal at Everton. He's joined Wigan on loan for the season. He signed a deal till 2024. Um He's 24 years of age. Now, it seems like this is to Everton protecting their assets. If Broadhead does well at Wigan, then Everton can command a fee for him, maybe. Because um, I can't imagine at the age of 25, he'll come back and be considered for the first team. But we'll see. Uh, last night's Carabao Cup draw saw Everton paired with Fleetwood Town away. Um, the week commencing the 22nd of August, that's when that one's played. Everton did play Fleetwood a couple of seasons ago under Carlo Ancelotti and beat them 5-2. Uh, a hybrid is what it's called, isn't it? So the Everton's second round tie away at Fleetwood. Uh, today saw Everton release their new third kit. Um, I quite like it. I think it's a nice kit. There's a little bit of controversy, maybe, or a little bit of discussion, shall we say, Um Due to the fact that Everton haven't put their normal crest on the shirt, they've just got a solid tower logo on it, and that's it. It's uh, in line with a lot of the corporate stuff that Everton have been doing lately. It's obviously there was a, a magnetic badge in your season tickets, which was just that. It's on the back of the season ticket. We're seeing it in branding. It's even on the back of some of the numbers on the shirt. So Everton looking for one corporate brand right the way through, and they've took the decision to have it on the shirt I think if it was a little bit bigger I think it'd look even better um, but yeah to be, to be honest a lot of a lot of the discussion has been positive around it I know some people really don't like it some people are um, aren't happy that there isn't the normal badge on it but there you go team doing the club doing something different with the third kit uh, the goalkeeper kit has been released as well with a nod to Neville Southall that one does have the badge on asked the uh, asked the question why it was different to the the kit, and they were told that it'll be worn at other times, not just with that away kit. So there you go. This that's the reason for that one. Uh, Everton have launched a new website to do with the Everton Stadium. It's simply called EvertonStadium.com. Lots of information will appear on that. All the stuff about the stadium. I think there's a blog on there from Colin Chong as well of how the stadium's going, the dates of when the next thing's happening and such. Um, so check that out. Like I say, EvertonStadium.com if you want to go over there and have a look at that one. Uh, Everton today linked with Strasbourg striker Ludovic Ajok. Um, Evan apparently interested in taking him on loan with a view to buy. Um, twenty-eight year old, six foot six, left-footed. He's got one in three record throughout his career, but has done 
quite decent in league in. Again, you know, Everton think there are a lot of strikers over the last few days. Yesterday was uh, Garassi and Shea Adams. Um, today is York. As York has been bouncing around for a few days, to be honest. Uh, Bros is still being talked about as well. So, quite clearly, Everton looking in that area. It's obvious we need a striker. Um, and as York, you know, sources in France saying that as York is another one Everton are looking at. It just on the Che Adams link, we reported that one yesterday. Ralph Hassenhuttle has said today there's no way he will leave Southampton to join Everton on loan, but did concede that everyone has got their price. And if Everton matched the price of Southampton's valuation, then obviously the player would move. Um, whether Everton do that or not, I don't know. There's a report just come out in the last 20 minutes that states that Everton are exploring seriously the option of bringing Che Adams in. So we'll have to see whether anything happens with that one. That is it for the News Daily. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And if you want more videos, join us on Premiere. The link in the description and the QR code is on the screen now. See you later.